What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a review on the PlayStation 5 digital and disc console. This is my first ever PlayStation and I am an Xbox guy, Xbox fanboy. This is just my honest review of this thing. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. All right guys, so all my entire life I've always had Xbox consoles. I've never owned a PlayStation in my life. So coming from the xbox 360 xbox you know the original one xbox series s now to playstation 5 i had some pretty high expectations of this thing considering i was trying to get my hands on it right when it first came out at the beginning of you know the the pdemi if you guys know what i mean um it was super hard to get my hands on this thing it took me maybe like a year or two to actually start finding them and a lot of them were you know super overpriced just because these things were like gold at the time and uh, i managed to get my hands on the xbox series s so that's why i went with that but honestly i was trying to get this at the same time and now that it's like fast forward three three and a half years since it came out and i finally got my hands on it guys let's just say that i wish i would have gotten this thing a lot sooner this thing has been blown me away this is what next gen gaming is i'm not a pc gamer i never built a pc i've never gamed on a pc so if you you know say that those are way better you know this just might not be the video for you but in terms of console gaming this is the elite console i'm an xbox guy xbox fanboy till i die i still love the xboxes and i still believe that they're pretty much just like the best user friendly just all around having fun console but if you want like a true gaming experience you want the graphics you want the storylines you're gonna go playstation and i totally can see why i totally see See why they have these crazy titles like the god of wars the horizon forbidden west all these like storyline like super in-depth graphical games on this console because it's so powerful this thing has absolutely blown me away again xbox fanboy telling you guys that this playstation that i wish i would have gotten it sooner guys i got my hands on this playstation 5 digital and disc edition god of war bundle this thing came with literally three things the simplest things you could get it came with literally the console the controller, HDMI cable, charger for the controller, and the God of War downloadable um, voucher, basically. That's all it came with. Packaging was super mediocre. I was like kind of bummed out about it, but I pull out the console. It's kind of big and kind of bulky, but the details on this thing were kind of crazy. The details on the controller were kind of crazy. The controller felt premium and felt good. It's probably the best feeling controller I've ever had in my hands before. You plug it in and right away just from the startup boot up screen i was blown away with the graphics guys now kind of getting into some technical details here this thing is 825 gigabytes of storage you're going to kind of need a lot of storage because these games man they take a lot of space and they take a lot of space for a reason and that's because they are freaking breathtaking games again you can do disc games but you still might have to install something onto the console itself but you know if you have a disc you might save some storage there so that's a pro to get the digital and disc version you know it's a hundred dollars more but it's worth the money just to get the disc version as well lightning fast game speeds guys like loading up the games considering you know as you guys see here in the video how crazy the graphics look and how breathtaking everything is the fact that these games boot up super quick and uh you know pick up where you left off you know a lot of these games are like first person you know uh role playing like open world type of games where there's tons of detail tons of stuff that go into these games and the fact that you can boot them up and uh you're playing in in no time is pretty insane so the lightning fast game loading thing has an ultra fast high speed ssd so it's like the fastest pretty much internal storage you can get you can also get ssds external but the fact that this thing has an ssd inside of it makes it absolutely awesome moving on to just the details in general of the console itself this thing is pretty nice in terms of build quality uh, you're not gonna you know be throwing this or moving this around much so you don't really have to worry about it but it also doesn't really feel cheap quality this thing actually feels nice it feels well built the design is nice it is a little bit on the bulkier side but this is almost like a flex slash show off piece like you don't really want this hidden away you kind of want this like where you can kind of see it where people can see it um it has like this little ambient light um that powers on blue white and orange sometimes and uh, it looks nice like this thing is kind of like like a statement piece pretty much 
like I said, this is like the best gaming console you can get. It's at a premium price point. Nothing crazy out of, you know, the world in terms of price point, but it's like at the higher end. And uh, you definitely want to be able to show this thing off, especially if you have like a sweet TV entertainment infotainment center basically at your house. This thing is pretty quiet. I haven't really had any like heat issues with this thing. I've played a couple games. I've literally played three games. I played God of War Ragnarok, blew my mind. I've played Fortnite, which is my first time ever playing Fortnite, and I actually got a win, a victory, uh, Battle Royale, so that was good. Moving on to the controller. The controller itself, DualSense, like I said, unboxed it. I was absolutely blown away by the quality of this thing, by how it felt. When I plugged it in and felt just like the, the responsiveness of this thing, it blew me away, guys. So this thing basically features haptic feedback, which kind of puts you into the game like you feel in all these different vibrations and motions based off of your game and your character and things like that adaptive triggers it basically emulates physical impacts and adds so much realism to the game i was blown away like playing god of war um just like the trigger response like i was chopping wood and it actually made me it was like a weird signal that it sent to my brain almost like i was actually chopping the wood myself like the fact that it's like a console game and you feel immersed in this thing is pretty gnarly um, on top of like the full immersion of the controller, this thing also outputs sound via the controller. So it kind of gives you that full immersion of, you know, the senses of the controller, the touchiness of it, as well as the audio. Again, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a really good controller compared to the Xbox Series S. Again, I'm an Xbox fanboy. The Xbox controller is is garbage. I'm not even going to lie to you. It feels like garbage. You have to get like an upgraded premium controller, whereas like the PlayStation, it just comes out of the box, like premium feel, the premium features it's if i could have this controller on xbox it would be a game changer i feel like xbox really needs to take um pointers from this controller here because this controller man it adds so much to the experience of the games and like i said like these titles the graphics on these games like this controller really does add so much more realism and immersiveness into these games into these titles it just makes your whole experience a whole lot better again going back to like this console the controller the graphics everything about this you kind of want like a pretty nice setup like a full-on like 4k tv like big screen tv you want to have some nice audio you want to get fully immersed in this thing like it's almost like you're playing like a movie but in a video game sense if that makes any sense <laughs> moving on 4k gaming at 120 fps at 120 hertz totally capable of that again guys i'm playing on a 1440p 75 hertz lg ergo 27 inch monitor here um, it's definitely not the top of the line it's definitely not the cheapest thing that you can get but honestly it didn't break the bank for me it has the features that i want the picture quality that i want and playing the ps5 on this thing did pretty good so i'm pretty happy with that now again this to get the full maximum capability out of this console you definitely want to get like a 4k tv this is going to be like in your either like theater room gaming room or it's going to be like in your living room where you have like a big boy tv unless you have like a crazy monitor that outputs the 4k and like those 120 hertz that sort of thing but you definitely want to be able to use this console at its like peak performance because that's what it was intended to do that's kind of what i was expecting out of this console and it's literally delivered on every end of this thing again i feel like this is more of a console where you're more of like a, a gamer that's into like these open world games, these storyline games, and it's for a reason because you, you're you fully immersed in this, in these worlds, man. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you could definitely spend a lot of time on this, on this uh, console here, and I noticed that when I was playing, I was playing for maybe an hour, hour and a half at a time, just like God of War and then switch into other games like Astro World or whatever that game's called and Fortnite. Uh, mainly God of War just because it was like, like, again, it was almost like I was watching a movie, but I was playing and uh, just super immersed in it so definitely have to be disciplined if you're just like an average <laughs> gamer like me you boot it up for like an hour at a time uh, every couple days throughout the week to de-stress so definitely be aware of that but uh you know just have that discipline use it for you know de-stressing and and uh you know benefits of, of that sort and you'll be fine so moving on as you guys can see all these crazy colors and lights that's a huge 
pro um, and selling point to this game just like the graphic output that this thing is able to do uh, ray tracing which is basically like the lights shadows reflections as you guys can see here this is a great example and this isn't even like a crazy graphical game um, is a huge pro so definitely take advantage of that guys and enjoy these open world games where you can kind of get these awesome rays of lights the shadows um, especially like god of war i noticed it's a very storytelling-esque game is where is where it really shines and look at this the colors on this are insane and this is fortnite this isn't even like a crazy like optimized like next level game but the graphics on this are insane as you guys can see here i'm freaking blown away by it this game's absolutely awesome um first again first game first time ever playing fortnite i won i got a fortnite battle royale whatever it was called and honestly i was just like just in awe of the graphics guys so as you guys can see here this is a pretty simple review but it pretty much says it all here the power of this thing the graphics the immersiveness of the the world you know just like the lights and just the sights and color and beauty of everything that's a huge selling point like if you want like a theatrical gaming immersive experience get this playstation 5 guys i i love this thing guys i bought this to review it for you guys and kind of you know have some comparisons and i'm kind of sad that i might be you know getting rid of it in terms of like that's what i intended to do but i might keep it now i actually might keep it an xbox fanboy might go playstation um and have a playstation and uh that's okay with me because of the performance because of how blown away i was at this thing even though i'm not a hardcore gamer i can definitely see myself playing this from time to time over the xbox the xbox is more like fast paced gaming for me just like quick and easy still good graphics still good performance whereas this is like fully immersive like almost like watching a movie if i'm ever gonna boot up like to watch movies and stuff or like have like a nice 4k tv i definitely want to have a playstation 5 on deck at that tv at that entertainment center again this thing i don't know how it compares to the series x i might have to pick up a series x next and uh do that video and do that comparison so stay tuned for that guys um again xbox xbox lifetime owner playstation 5 the first time ever owning one and this thing is has blown me away absolutely love it guys definitely recommend it if you have the budget for one if you're in the market for one pull the trigger on this thing you're gonna be blown away especially if you have like a nice tv and stuff i'll leave you guys with that definitely worth the pickup guys if you guys like this video guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys more videos to come i'll catch you guys in the next one